The Secret Garden is a story about um, Mary Lennox, who is a girl from India, whose family and everyone she knew um, died of the cholera, and she um, was, I think, the lone survivor um, in the area where she was found, and she was sent to live with her uncle, Archibald Craven, um, at Mistlethwaite Manor in England, um, because that was the only family she had left. It's about her journey when she enters this very depressed household that's haunted by spirits and about how she ends up kind of bringing light to the house and happiness. She um, starts learning about all the different secrets of the manor, um, all the people who live there and their troubles, and of, of the story of this, of this woman named Lily and Archibald and their love story. I'm Lily in The Secret Garden, and she is the mother of Colin and the aunt of Mary. I end up sort of being a symbol of how people grieve and go through the different stages of grief, along with Archie, my uncle in the musical, who is also grieving the death of his wife. And one, of, one of Archibald's biggest things is that he can only speak in dreams, I and mean, that he never um, necessarily comes out fully and says how he feels about um, his dying son, how he feels about losing his wife, how he feels about his brother. Why can't he see what he wants? Neville is the brother of Archie, and he is not a good guy at all. He wants Archie's fortune, he wants Archie's house all to himself. Without giving too much away, he's trying to get rid of everyone else in the house so he can have it all to himself. And it's not four. It's four. One thing that surprised me in the rehearsal process was how well the actors did with their accents and dialect. Um, <laughs> that was one thing that I was, I was really worried about, to be honest. Our dialect coach will say, drop your jaw or raise your soft palate with your space in your mouth, which is kind of confusing, but ends up working. The cast, I think, is incredibly varied, which is something I noticed from the get-go after I came to Latin. There's so many different types of people in. It's not like the theater um, kids. We have people like who play sports and don't really do theater that much, and then we have people who are like really involved in theater, so it's like a nice spread of people. We lost Charlie, Willis, and Sarah Waller last year, and Allison Bonner as well, and a few other seniors that had really spent some quality time in theater. This year, we've got some new faces, which is always good. So we've got Sarah, uh, a singer on props, she's doing a great job. The assistant stage managers with Hunter, Jack and Andrew are really stepping up. Austin and Gray, who have been working spotlights for years. It's a wide variety of kids from across all grade levels, kind of across all different social groups, I guess. I think, you know, with practice and with, um, you know, just drilling the transitions and everything, we can really make something cool out of this team. I need your focus, I need your patience. I, I need your really enjoy working with Mr. Cosper. He definitely is very fun to work with, and I love that he meows like a cat. He gives you more opportunity to kind of like be who you want to be. He doesn't really give you strict guidelines, so it leaves it open, I guess, and you kind of take it your own direction. And now the sun's climbing high. It's just got a different feel. I think, I mean, there was Les Mis that was really dark and everyone cried the whole time. There's Hello Dolly. And then, um, of course, Antigone was really dark. Rhinoceros was kind of an absurd thing, but this is. This is a mix, because there's moments in the show where it's like, ooh, it's really happy, and there's moments in the show where it's really demented, really dark. So it's a cool blend of genres, I would say. The Secret Garden is a very beautiful story. I remember reading it when I was about eight years old. I think people of all ages will enjoy it, because you can see the story of a little girl who finds a garden and finds friends in the garden. You can also see the story of someone who's experienced loss. It really seems to be personal for everybody. 